In this trial we're looking more at uh, the network perspective of target time management. So what we are trying to do is uh, solving an arrival hotspot at an airport, then using an, uh, a local business model to derive those flights that are most suitable to be delayed, assigning a limited number of flights that should be impacted, that get delayed, and then feed that to the network manager who will then issue the, the slots. Network management uh, integrated, implemented target times as part of the uh, slot allocation message last uh, April. It's very important for us to, to understand what, uh, what happens in this trial, in the VP749 trial, to see how uh, airport operation uh, optimization can benefit or can feed into the uh, en route uh, optimization processes. Nowadays we try to treat or we tend to treat the, uh, the flights on an individual basis with a beginning and an end and we add up all these flights uh, as part of a daily plan. Um, uh, it is of course not the end of a flight. A flight after that will have another leg, another leg, another leg and so on. We have always uh, seen that when it's an arrival regulation to an airport, the solution that was being uh, provided by Takasa algorithm sometimes was not fair enough for the airlines and for the airports. Each flight does not have the same economic value and for us uh, with the connecting passenger and so on, it could be really interesting to have less delay for one flight than another. We have focus uh, in, uh, with the AO pinop in the area of the uh, departure and arrival information. So all in all, we expect to, to, to start much earlier, much, much uh, more data and more dynamic. In the same way, we've been able to, to show that connecting different airports uh, brings this extra predictability. And as uh, the, the information between the airports flows through them and the network is feeding uh, updates to the airport when, the, when these aircrafts are, are arriving through this estimated landing time. Well, what we are doing now is ACDM practically is maybe just looking more or less one flight before, uh, before the, the departure, uh, 130 minutes, three hours before. Right now we are uh, able to, to, to demonstrate that we can provide uh, accurate information at least uh, six, seven, eight hours, ten hours ahead of what we are doing now. What we are really doing is giving the network a lot of information that is uh, unknown by, by, by the network manager. And we are introducing in our calculations the business needs of airports, airlines, running, uh, uh, handling agents, uh, all the airport stakeholders. For an airport like Barcelona, a busy airport like Barcelona, yeah. it's very important to have a good productability of the rivals to know how to uh, optimize our resources in terms of gates, bells, checking desks, with the integration of AOP and NOP and the exchange information between all the airports, we accomplished to have a predictability, an increase of predictability of even 12 hours in advance. For us, any decrease of the number of flights affected in the arrival regulation could be a benefit, it could be an improvement. Target time will be shared with the, all the pilots, will be transmitted to the pilots and the OCC, to the dispatcher at the OCC, operational control center. It allows the pilot to take into account this information and uh, it allows him to better understand the need of the ATC and to take it into account in its strategy before departure of his flight. We have provided a technical solution that can demonstrate that the airport can be integrated in the network. We have to integrate the four AOPs in, in four real operation environments, in concrete four airports. The prototype has been tested in collaboration with AENA and Eurocontrol. The algorithm is really taking in, uh, into account all the requirements from the airport side and from the uh, airspace users. Uh, the, the final solution is much, is much better for everyone. From the point of view of the FMP, the proposed solution from the AIMA is uh, solving the hotspot. So that's the, the key for us to, to really solve the problem that we, the capacity problem that we have. Benefit expected is also the flight efficiency for us. It's really important and we, we want to improve the, the fuel consumption and the punctuality. So far, so good. It's very promising, yes.